All right. Thank you for joining in into the Ask Me Anything session. This is Startup Tuesday with Shishir Gupta. My name is Shishir Gupta, as obvious, founder and CEO of Startup Lanes. Uh, this session is a one hour session and we'll be taking your questions one by one. You can ask me anything about career options, startup funding or investment. All right. So you can raise your hands now and then we can start. Okay, first is Mr. Umair Raza. Sir, please come forward and ask your question. So, sir, I would like to ask sir, how the youngsters uh, would actually uh, dwell into this uh, startup life and uh, how to access ourselves, how to compete on a key level playing, playing field competition where we can just discover our hidden potential, which is ultimately efficient and effective for the organization to accomplish its desired goals concerning. Uh, operational efficiencies and uh, very and very operations. you know heavy words you are using you know all the management words <laughs> anyways so what i what i want to understand from you is are you asking how to get growth yes sir that's what okay all right see uh, for career growth the the most important thing i should tell you is uh, first of all identify your vision whether your vision is later down the line, because everybody is, uh, you know, towards entrepreneurship now, right? So in case your vision is to go for entrepreneurship later on, then definitely get into a stream wherein, wherein you should you should focus upon the long term vision of entrepreneurship, right? Uh, I have seen lot of people. In fact, most of people who approach us for jobs. They yes, asked for operations job and I asked them why. Yes, they said, sir, usme koi stress nahi hota. you know, usme kuch target nahi hota. it's not like that. If you look for easy things, actually nothing is easy in this world. And yes, if sir. there is no USP, right, we need to identify our USP. If there is no USP, then what is the need of the company? If you are not needed, yes, then company will fire you. Get him apart. Those who do easy jobs, either company will not pay their salaries, you know, uh, as per their expectations, or they will fire. Simple as that. So people are paid because they are needed. You solve a problem of the company. This entire world works on problem and solution. Right. Because we solve problems, we get money, whether it is in job or in a startup or any business. Anything you do, you are a professional. You know, you somebody is into jail, you are a lawyer, they will pay you because they are into problem right now. Okay. But somebody is happy, you know, going to gym and you stop him and you say, I'm a lawyer, do you need me? He said, get aside. Right. That is what he will say because you are not solving his problem. So that is what we need to identify. First of all, we need to find out our speciality. If we are specialized into something or you want to specialize into something, only do that or do whatever is around that because specialization is the key right now, right? If you do too many things, then you might not be able to become, you know, expert of one particular domain. And that's very important. And second thing for growth is keep moving in one direction, right? People hop into different opportunities. Uh, today they will become digital marketing expert tomorrow they will join content writing and then later they will say sir operations ka job dila do right okay. it's not going to help people who get lose their job after you know doing operations for five six years or ten years and if they don't get operations they can't fit into anywhere else because it's very difficult for them but sales people who have done cold calling steep targets they can fit in anywhere so it's better to start with difficulties first, right? Abhi pahar chadna aajayega to aage to utarna to aasaan hai. Hai na? So, but aap bolo ki mujhe to utarne ka kaam chahiye abhi to mushkil hai. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. This uh, problem is big right now. Lot of people I see, they want easier things to be done. Initial career, at least mid career, you should do difficult things so that later part of your career becomes smooth. Follow up question, Omer. Uh, yes, sir. I have uh, one more uh, question. Not question actually, but uh, I have recently seen um, many of your LinkedIn posts wherein you have uh, helped many of the job seekers 
without any interview and without any like uh, highly renowned uh, professional credentials and for a very suitable job profile i just want to dedicate a few lines to you if you just if you can just allow me then can i just tell you sir yeah so this is not the platform but uh, you know definitely you reach out to me over the email or something then we'll discuss more okay. about that So okay. I I just so want to thank you sir thank you very much for your uh, patient sharing and thank you very much uh, which you are doing currently that's really like uh, for that's very encouraging for our young, uh, like for us uh, young aspirants so so that we can actually follow our, we are just uh, getting a like an idol so sir you are my idol sir basically I just wanted to so, be so kind of you thank you so much. Thank you. Next ten years. Thank you very much, sir. And I do apologize for the inconvenience to all of you. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. That's pretty fine. No, sir. Okay. I I was mistaken actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no more. Good. No more questions, sir. Thank you. Done. Okay. Can we move to the next one, Sanjana? Yes, sir. Next we have Mr. Rishab Agarwal. Right, sir. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, start a uh, startup. Uh, i am currently in the like final stages of building my application and uh, it is dedicated towards uh, like one particular organization and just like the sales profile and uh, the process would be to uh, first uh, onboard them using their company email id and just start with one section of uh, one particular industry the sales department and uh, since uh, i mean and bring all of them on one platform so that the hr currently now if they, you have to post a job you have to go on to like uh, posting jobs in a uh, multiple uh, different websites and multiple so easing that up into like one platform they don't have to go in and they do that one platform and have every single person in the industry with the relevant experience on that form it becomes really easier for them to uh, connect with the people on that one single platform and the people who would be posting jobs would be the directly the right managers not the hr so you can directly contact and then the people they are looking forward to meet so they can directly just contact to talk with the people so you mean to say you are creating a hiring platform a hiring platform for sales profiles is it yeah that would be the uh, beginning but then uh, like uh, adding uh, like at tech uh, into it uh, providing every single course that uh, is beneficial for those people then they are looking forward to like change their domain from one section to another so they could uh, easily access uh, you know like using ai like if they want to transition into another role in a single company they could use that course and then move within their company itself since they know the people already there So but do you think you will be able to compete with the the large companies like monster nokri.com and all that yeah because mostly they are just uh, like resume platforms where you just tally, uh, like uh, they post the jobs and you just apply the resumes and also because they are like multiple platforms right now so even for like uh, the person who wants to hire he has to first of all like go into multiple platforms to look for the candidate and what it does is solve that problem that every single person who is uh, employed currently in that particular industry in that particular department is present on the platform so you don't need to go first of all to multiple platforms so you only have you only have to come in in this one single platform and then uh, it becomes easier for them okay so what's your question for me and uh, Uh, is uh, like how to uh, like initiate uh, the process of like the pitch decks and everything to apply for funding. Okay, so you know uh, if you're looking for idea stage funding, the last date for winter cohort is seventh of February. We are closing because we are almost, in fact, already full, but still we are accepting two three applications more. Right, so you need to contact one of our community managers. uh you can find out their phone numbers at our website they will assist you one you know step by step so that will be <clears throat> available uh, you know they'll guide you uh and you can discuss your idea with them and uh, they'll they'll tell you uh, one thing which is very important is we need to see 
how will how will this idea you know become big whether you will be able to scale up to that particular level prima facie what it appears to me is you know what you are trying to do is really uh, you know difficult in terms of customer acquisition building up such a large database will require lot of crores of rupees which is not really possible as of now uh, parting with the you know data is the new oil and you are building something that that requires enormous amount of data acquisition then only it will be successful right so first of all lot of time energy resources <laughs> will be required right yeah you want to say something rishu yeah uh, i'm kind of uh, building it on no code so uh, you won't no code is okay much, but uh, how will you the... how will you find people i'm not talking about coding how will you find people how many people you see worked in the industry i've already worked in the industry i've worked in the industry for 3 years already uh, hmm. and uh, i already know a lot of them i've already started uh, building connections with them talking with them so and, how many people uh, can you bring on board how many job seekers can join uh, you in the next one year uh within uh, the first month itself i'm looking forward to add like more than uh, around 2000 people but 2000 is nothing I, I'm the founder of Nokri Salar. Yeah, but without without using, we had we had six lakh users, six lakh users, and that also was tiny. I'm talking about 2005, 2005 to 2008. Six lakh user base was tiny, and we solved the problem of uh, dual duplicacy of resumes. We tied up with cyber cafes we had a scratch card those days and cyber cafe used to fill up the resumes only one person was given one opportunity of signing up because cv creation was through a code unique code and we charge 100 rupees our revenue was 6 crore those days right still it was tiny you are getting talking about job market 2000 resumes nothing you will not be able to give choice right even if you start in sales domain my and if 3 years of experience is very small i carry more than 20 years now my first initial day startups the placement enterprise i can tell you from my experience lot of people they will register at your site but they will never go for the interview they will not even come to talk to the you know employer once right so sometimes when they are in mood they will they will say okay we will go there we will sign up and all that they will not do anything people used to call us our staff at 3 o'clock at night after having hard drinks sir meri job lagwa do i used to get all those calls right it's very stressful and it's not a very scalable model what you are talking about and my job is to tell you the right uh, you know reality about everything so if you go building something big because this model you think you know investors will not put in money for 2000 people you are bringing in data is the new oil and if they give you money to acquire data there is no value add happening you need to add value by bringing in something which is disruptive which will definitely you know work well so maybe you think of a solution maybe think of something which disrupts where people will be happy to join you you know open your app instead of opening nokri.com monster.com times jobs and all think of something like that and if that works go for it definitely right right now prima facie it's not appearing to be you know something that it will keep you hand to mouth but it's not appearing to be something which can become really big as of now so definitely you need to modify the model have some brainstorming find out some discussion groups find out some like minded people put it on your linkedin go to some whatsapp communities go to facebook groups and find out create a discussion group of 2025 people with whom you can brainstorm and from there you will be able to find out some co-founders as well right and you are most welcome to come back to us okay thank you pleasure all right can we take the next one sanjana 
Yes, sir. next we have Mr. B K Sharma. Sir, please come forward and ask your question. Yeah, can you hear me properly? Yeah, B K. Hi. I am very nice, uh, Shishir. Uh, you have been really very humble in uh, replying first to uh, participants uh, in this forum, and I appreciate uh, the way the you have so much of patience to really uh, explain and uh, be a mentor. Uh, really, uh, my uh, great regards to you. Thank you so much. Uh, along with me is Arjun. Uh, he's uh, hi, hi Arjun. He's uh, uh, my son as well, and uh, together we had started a startup about uh, 15 years back. Uh, before Uber came in in New Zealand, we had a cab to startup, first uh, New Zealand startup uh, mobile app startup for the taxis, uh, which is. Uh, as you said about the knockery, we have put a lid on it uh, as soon as Uber came in, but because we saw the deep pocket required, and this is a, uh, uh, it's not an easy uh, way to uh, travel. I appreciate uh, you have to learn how to climb the mountain, but the mountain is endless, then better decide when to stop. Right, now today's forum, uh, I expected uh, questions uh, from the investors, but first two uh, participants had different questions. Uh, so somehow the agenda got a bit diluted, I suppose, if I'm not wrong. No, uh, this session is open session, anything, right? It does not, it's not only for investors. So this okay. session is for people who want to ask career questions. Ask me anything Tuesday is always like that only, you know, we have done almost 14, 15 sessions now. So okay. it's, it's a completely open forum. Anything. Right. So uh, my questions will be very straightforward. One is, uh, uh, as an investor, I'm looking at investing in startup lane and uh, I'm expecting a term sheet to come, which I'm awaiting yet from your end. Okay, sure. So that's first question. So anytime you can ask your people to mail me the term sheet so that I can put my money into account. Uh, second is... Uh, as I'll be investing in New Zealand dollars, so I hope uh, at your end you won't have any issues with the foreign currency coming in. No, we don't have. We we already have our uh, startup lanes existing investors, you know, in the last round from Singapore. Right, and even as a regional director, I had uh, um, invested in foreign currency. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, now uh, my main question here is that uh, you had given a link of uh, shark tank as well today i saw that shark tank india shark tank india so is that starting very soon or is it already started no in india shark tank is already uh, up and running it's very successful so one of our startup uh, that we invested in made to shark tank and uh, the story is very interesting we they were they were expecting you know good amount of funding uh, from Shark Tank, but unfortunately, what happened is they did not give them good valuation. So, and we completed that round at a better valuation. In fact, two times of what Shark Tank was offering, and then uh, after this, they raised two times more from two other angel networks, and now they are raising the another round, one more round at a double of the valuation in three months what they raised from startup lanes. So investors who put in, uh, say five lakh rupees, they their valuation become 10 lakhs in three months. That's, that's good results, yeah. Uh, now, uh, my question would be that as a regional director, when I am introducing startup lane to people in my network and based on you, as all of us know, in angel investments within our first circle also a lot of people based on our trust and the name value they invest on our name so i just want to uh, ask you how are you in your backup system how are you relating it that if i say ask arjun to uh, give him a link and he says okay uh, i'm investing five lakhs and uh, as I have referred Arjun to startup lane, so how your system uh, really identifies that? Okay, so I think you know we should have a one-on-one -on -one discussion for that. 
in the larger interest you know let's take the common questions first and probably let's set up a call at uh, your convenient time you know and then generally i'm free after 6 o'clock ist in case you know it matches you or else we'll do something before what? night and then I'll, we'll have a one on one discussion that will be fantastic and i'll uh, just if you like to listen how the discussion goes thank you very much thank and you. Uh, you. abdul uh, if you have any questions no no it's all right it's the first first time uh, so i'll carry on understanding first what the actual requirement and what is this based on and then if question comes there'll be next time anyway thanks, thanks arjun nice to okay, meet you both you guys good all luck good. Thank, thank you, you. All right, Sanjana, can we take the next one? Yes. Next, we have Mr. Abhinash Rath, sir. Please come forward and ask your question. Thank you. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, it's nice to connect with you. I have actually uh, one question. Actually, uh, my brother had a startup already three years back. We oh, are into a consultancy. Our revenues are fine. There is no doubt about the revenues. The only thing is we are now limited in our in my city, especially in Odisha. Um, I don't know how to how to go other side because main issue is we don't have any exposure about the mines other state, but we want to go. What do you do? What are you doing in Odisha? Uh, it's about actually mining plan. Okay. And environment clearance and groundwater clearance, all these three. So you do the mining yourself, or you get the approvals? No, 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 no. You, you, are, we only give the uh, support entrepreneurs to for their approval. We are just a consultancy. We just give them a plan, mining plan, uh, mining survey, and environment clearance if they need. We have also environment clearance service and groundwater. Uh, from ground, uh, groundwater, if you dig. You need a service that we provide. Oh, these three we provide. But okay, we are now limited with Odisha because we have we are from Odisha. We have lot of uh, clients in Odisha, no problem. But we don't know how to go further for other states. Right. And are you are you connected with the other entrepreneurs, or you have found that is there any we, directly uh, available? Or- Companies that are into mining. We, 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 we the, uh, six months back we tried with one UP consultancy, um, uh, environment something like that. Hmm. But uh, that kick is not going. I don't know. Uh, we can tie up. Yes, we can. We want to because we don't have other states experience. Okay. But if you can tell me how to, you know, how to find. Some, we are not a very big. Consultancy company, just normal. But okay, we are we are happy the way we are doing the business. Not about money. It's just about uh, more exposure. I am I am doing my job. Actually, that business is mainly under by my brother because he is a geologist. All right. So I'll give you because this is something which happens through more of personal connect. I'll give you right. the number of you know uh, uh, you know you know Baba Prasanna Patasani. Yes. Yeah. So he is the OSD of uh, Prasanna Patasani, yeah, 11 Mark Road, Delhi. Right. They have their own. Uh, so I'll I'll give you the number of that person. He is really well connected, and uh, he understands in and out of Odisha. So you probably can okay. support help you there. Right. He meets a lot okay. of people. So this because okay. this is more of you'll be requiring a lot of political connections for uh, you know moving ahead into that direction. So, uh, yes. they are into Delhi. They can give you. We have we have one political connection, but not much. No, it's a very good political connection, and because uh, you know he is from Baba is from your place only, Bhubaneswar, right? So, some mostly is available in Delhi as well. So, if possible, he might you know take some appointment for you, and you know, uh, he's a really good okay. guy. I've seen uh, okay. helping lot of people, so I can try to you know connect with you know OSD of. uh baba and probably that will be really good connect that will work for you because i have yes, seen a lot of yes, lot of big shots coming over there right so yes, then you yes. can go there and meet him oh sure i would yeah. love to 
yeah so uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll share the number where maybe uh, from you can take it from sanjana her number is available okay. i'll share the number okay okay thank you yeah well okay next we have miss anushree dikshit please come forward and ask your question yeah thank you sanjana hi shishir uh, it's it's i'm i'm elated to meet you because what you are doing is Uh, giving a hope to all the entrepreneurs you know that uh, cannot make to shark time or maybe you know uh, we don't know uh, we don't have a lot of contacts in so thank you so much for that first of all uh now uh, i would like to ask you first that um, uh, is i mean is it any industry or any kind of startup that uh, you are funding we are sector agnostic we don't we don't uh, you know have any particular specific choice It's, yeah okay uh, okay so so what i have is like i am into media industry i am into communication and uh, uh, you know entertainment basically so i am trying to give a platform to uh, you know it is a kind of uh, i'll say social entrepreneurship and a kind of csr activity as well i already have a firm that deals into training so we are a one stop training solution for all kind of trainings whether behavioral or what but uh, this is my passion so that is well established and now i have a partner who is taking care of that firm i am moving to entertainment now and here i already have contacts and i have been i am an established artist there in theater uh, industry i want to give platform to the actors actor actresses artists you know uh, of the small towns that do not get a lot of recognition so uh, you know i would like to do something for them where they are well connected and they are also given opportunity and placements so i am kind of making something there so do you think that it is, uh, this idea could be funded the a uh, lot of i have seen couple of people you know are discussing this same thing with me uh, providing opportunity to tier 1 tier 2 uh, sorry to a two tier 3 city artists you know but actually what happens is what kind of opportunity you provide that makes a little you know not little that makes the entire difference if you are providing an opportunity to a tier 3 person to directly get a web series offer into netflix that is big right but i am sure that does not happen this way you might be providing them generally what people have done they have you know taken some money i uh, took them to a youtube channel or something but again the viewership is not coming good right and then ultimately it fails you're getting my point so you need to work on the demand side first of all if you are taking an artist take small number of artists say 5 6 10 that's okay but are you able to create success stories out of it i have seen most of the companies they play in the volumes take some membership fees they give them some trainings you know learning happens everything people are happy to pay you people are happy to learn but there has to be an outcome of that learning right and i'm speaking from my own experience uh, we we i had my training company not in this but into uh, technology so initially we created a volume model because we thought that probably we were thinking about our revenues right and then i later decide identified that uh, it's not about my revenue lot of people got trained you know uh, to be precise 500 600 people got trained and when i looked at the numbers i was really unhappy you know only uh, you know no less than 5% of them got job so why people go to a learning uh, institute or something which is beyond their college because they expect a definite outcome to come out of it so that's what i'm trying to tell you if you have such kind of success stories scale up slow if you have five six success stories of people who made to netflix or amazon prime such or maybe you know into a movie mainstream then this is good instead of uh, having too many people and hitting trying because this is a, this is a very complicated every learning industry is complicated if we have good number of success stories 
then only we can you know that it becomes a automatically a name and fame will come to you so that is something what i would uh, uh, you know recommend uh, and uh, by the way you know uh, we can collaborate offline i am planning to uh, uh, have a movie created right so we can discuss about it in case you have uh, i need a uh, script writer right now you know can take the story from me and uh, write the script maybe locally placed if you have somebody in goa i stay in goa so uh, you know because it requires i really don't have free time so in my free time i'll be narrating the story and then it has to be scripted and then it, it would convert into a movie so maybe that could be uh, one and uh, yeah so you know and i'll i'll try i'll be happy to connect i know couple of production houses myself right actually i am also a budding production house i have uh, i have made a few shows uh, you know but for youtube only because i am also in the beginning phase right now i have made a short film also which was awarded in an international festival so uh, that's why you know i just, i'm just trying to link it up but i know that is really you know it needs a huge amount of investment uh, having one's own production house so i'm starting with the short films and that's where i would like to give them a placement uh, you know but i know it's like it it could be a little hypothetical as well but yes now aligning with the uh on one side content always works but on, but on other side the ground reality is there are there are uh, people who are pumping in money for useless content and making that popular absolutely right? yesterday just yesterday i was watching a south indian dubbed movie you know and after 10 minutes i was very hopeful that this will be good after 10 minutes i was hopeless and it had more than 6.5 crore views 6.5 crore yeah. views on a youtube right. it's not less right so it shows that it depicts that it has been pumped somebody pumped into money uh, a lot of lot of money into paid advertisement and good people how will how will you get discovered because linkedin or youtube or wherever you know the social media is their algorithm works on likes more likes they are getting uh automatically and obviously the entire social media is also paid just like mainstream media social media is also paid so they love money so ultimately people who are deprived of such opportunity making a movie may cost you or say web series will cost you 20 lakhs example right but promoting that web series may cost you 20 crores there is no okay. limit to it right so if you do it yourself if you get a chance at netflix awesome they will promote it themselves if you don't get a chance there if you want to do it your youtube very very difficult so we do we also have a media house called sl media i'll be happy to collaborate we will uh, you know anything you want to do in goa short movies any production shoot i'll be i'll be happy to uh, collaborate invest support whatever way in case if that matches the vision right so uh, i know and let me also share with you this is right now after pandemic this is the future this is the present without uh, you know everything will be youtube later on as of now uh, youtube has become the second number search engine so uh, everybody wants to have before metaverse this is this is most important right now later on obviously metaverse might become everything you know what youtube is today and what google is today metaverse can replace and then we have to we may have to buy virtual shops take you know land on lease in the metaverse this is all coming up yeah but already have identified but till now for next 5 6 years 7 years youtube is something which everybody has to get a place there because you know if you are not seen you are you no know, your sales will become very very difficult right so i'm i'm with you on that in case anything we can collaborate a uh, short movies any production shoot i have limited availability of time and limited reach you know i cannot move here and there because lot of people come to goa to meet me but i am available you know i this is this is something which comes out of the passion so probably yeah. we can uh, take that into you know something some commercial uh, we can do here if if anything happens what's your location anushree jaipur okay all right 
so we'll we'll uh, discuss definitely discuss offline in case you the anything comes to your mind bro drop a note to sanjana and she'll connect uh, i don't have her number sanjana's number is at startup lines website in contact us all right okay i've shared my youtube link uh, for the short film in case if you ever have time please go through it thank you yeah all right thank you so much pleasure thank you can we take the next one yes sir next we have mr sandeep sana sir please come forward and ask your question yes. hello sir this is sandeep am i audible to you sir yes you are yes sir yeah thank you sir uh, it's thank you for giving us a great opportunity to direct to ask the questions to you uh so let me come to directly to the questions what i sure. have sure. okay uh, before that i would like to tell you that like uh, what is my product uh, state what state it is actually so i it's a tech based product uh, related to biolinks uh, i have create uh, i have released an alpha version without marketing i have able to capture around 2000 plus users okay uh, and there were some bugs and we have improved and we are updating it continuously over the period of since last 4 5 months okay so my point of question here is uh, since it has been in alpha testing stage uh, is it advised you me to go to as a slow by slow marketing phase or you you you, uh, you advise me to put, put up some pump uh, money for uh, digital marketing and uh, make it in a big boost like right now box has been everything has been cleared off that's what i can say see you said it's alpha right yes before you go to beta testing you can't and you should not give the product yeah beta testing has been done actually uh, the back end work has been beta testing has been done that's for sure then then you call it the final product then why are you calling it alpha okay uh, i said like okay okay yeah see there's white paper this conceptualization there is alpha then there is beta and then there is 1.0 right yes yes so if it is 1.0 product that means it is bug free yes bug free tested it externally beta testing has been done by experts yes right? that has been done yes that has been done you have done the load testing right yes yes so then it is a final product yeah and if, so if you are ready with the documentation mm -hmm. then you should la launch it with the you know first Uh, initial premier com community you know, okay that premier community those people are uh, they get the first user access mm -hmm. they also you seen the movie premier right especially uh, some people are invited some critics are invited some you know special friends okay. family members are invited so mm -hmm. that anything good or bad happens you can make the changes there before actually it goes yeah uh, actually that's what i'm saying at that stage only i have uh, like uh, at alpha stage also there are no bugs actually i it was completely bug free only the uh, once i actually uh, included all the premier committee what you said like uh, you some relatives some business colleagues uh, professionals and all those things based on the feedback i improved the product and made it like uh, what market expects okay that stage has been done actually so i'm just talking about the next stage what should i do should i go by slow by slow digital marketing or should i go for an investment and then have a complete uh... no once the product is ready you have to full fledged move full fledged move is the best idea right okay yeah because uh, <laughs> you have yes. already invested your time money resources into building the product Yes. Now it is time to reap out the benefits. Okay. Right. You uh -huh. think of you think of an aeroplane. If you have to go from Delhi to New York, then if if only two customers, two uh, visitors are there, you know, mm -hmm. who will travel, you make losses. So you need to make the flight full. Right. Okay. That is that is something you should remember while you are you know your product. for making the flight full no matter what price you get but you need to make it full because you will always be beneficial if the first flight fails fails mean uh, it it is not full or if uh, less people are there then your it will be forever because that becomes your first impression okay. getting my point so yes, always yes. try to launch limited number of seats mm -hmm. and try to full fulfill all the number of seats whatever product or service you are yes, yes. right 
companies limit themselves you have seen if you book uh, uh, a car any suv in india like yeah. you go to mahindra they will say we are waiting of one year for xuv 700 mm-hmm. right it does not mean that they don't have the production capacity but they are okay. creating a demand they are creating more demand they are hyping it right mm-hmm. and this is normal this is okay you need to create a hype so that customer wait for you you have mm-hmm. more demand and you know lesser supply diamond is a very exa- big example mm-hmm. diamond is we all know that it is the biggest scam in the world there is ample amount of diamond everywhere but the production is cut down so that there is artificial demand right so yes. all Uh, this is this is how you you should try to match up whatever is there do mass marketing and start selling cheaper so that customers come to you and you are full of your capacity of servicing right any product should have after sales service or support service you need to uh, have awesome support service always Right. Yes, sir, that is how you can retain your customers and get the reference yes sir so so uh, the startup lane support uh, uh, products at this stage for investments uh so you know you are not an idea stage not a revenue stage we have two options idea and revenue yes sir that's the that's what actually makes me confusing why i'm trying to apply for so you you do some revenue and come to us yeah we do have revenue we do have some offline mm-hmm. revenue like uh, we do have some revenue actually that revenue should be from the same product yeah product same products product. definitely from the same product only i'm saying then you you are most welcome yes sir and uh, regarding this uh, when we talk about like uh, for investment we have a thing called like financial projections okay so revenue earned during this stage should we consider that or should we not consider that see financial projections are not just revenue expectations mm-hmm. those are your total spend <coughs> what what will be the amount you will be spending every month mm-hmm. what will be the negative cash that is the bond rate how much funding will be required everything comes from the projections okay right yeah okay uh, so uh, like uh, like uh, is it a good idea that we ask the funding in different multiple stages like uh, maybe that's a very the, good idea yeah uh, like uh, for the if you uh, want so, to save equity if you want to you know become big in the longer run you need to protect your equity yes and for protecting your equity you need to divide that into stages okay okay get your point yes sir yes sir definitely and uh, yes uh, for this uh, regarding the investments what i am talking about uh, i have some specific things like whether should we consider for that investment salaries of the employees like uh, should we consider that as a part of investment 85 15 you note down this rule you know it's my personal rule right mm-hmm. you can call it shishir's rule 85 15 85% of the funding received should go for customer acquisition now okay. if the customer acquisition is because of sales employees include that okay but if your peon who's who's you serving the water who's not directly connected with bringing the customers or acquiring mm-hmm. a customer remove that person from that list 85% okay. of your expenses should necessarily go for customer acquisition and if you are doing that if you have good profit margin say 30% above then you will never ever fail right you will keep generating value for investors you will keep scaling up your company you will keep making profits but okay. if you if you change this ratio which is prominent in different companies depends from company to company okay. and if it becomes say for an interior designing firm this this cannot be the ratio if they require funding they might be requiring some cost of materials production because they need to have economies of scale right they need yes. to buy the buy the material that is how in advance that is how they will make money more money right but for a service companies it is pretty possible to have customer acquisition cost as 80 85% okay sir right no <laughs> but this is not a hard and fast rule even if it is anything above 50% is good okay right yeah 
uh, in this small thing only, I uh, just I want to ask like uh, while building the product, the core uh, uh, developers and the core marketing persons like who are involved, like uh, basically in the part of the company, they have not taken any single uh, money. So, is it advisable to include their salaries also, like uh, the directors? In the further from the beginning See, stage, anybody who is acquiring customer uh-huh. will get into customer acquisition field. Okay. Okay. If the director is HR director is not acquiring customer, will not. Yes. So rest of the fifteen percent do anything. Eighty five percent only acquiring customers, right? Majority okay. of the portion should go for digital marketing only. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and for marketing purposes. Uh, uh since uh, though our product is a technology based product we somehow believe that offline marketing can also works uh, it also works well for us getting the like though it won't be like a very big amount but initial to, uh, really, running expenses it will be easily so uh, do we think it is advisable to, to say to the investor like we also want to go for offline marketing see uh, depends entirely upon think of a situation where you are into a wedding function you have one plate right mm-hmm. and there are 500 types of things you know you, you can put in your plate what okay. will you put on Wait your no, plate song star, yeah. please be on yeah. mute huh a song just for now all right so think of that situation what will you put on your plate you might put in four or five things you like which are best according to you right Uh, yes similarly whatever in the digital marketing or offline or online marketing whatever works well for you put only four five of that too okay. many things you can't do and you should not do no yes. doubt everything gives some kind of benefit right yes i agree so there are lot of channels even radio is there then you have facebook instagram lot of things are there but what works well for you pick up three or four channels that's it you can't uh-huh. Scale up on every channel. Getting my point? Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of time. Yeah. Yes. To develop that expertise. Yes, sir. Uh, the next question uh, here th- regarding this. Uh, when I see like uh, see some of the things uh, when we look out for marketing purposes, uh, there is like uh, one minimum requirements as well as an option of going for luxury things like uh, a normal iPad or uh, with uh, Android iPad or going for an Apple. Okay, so is it advisable to ask the investors, including the cost for the luxury assets? I can say because sometimes that gives a bigger brand value. Okay, like a sales and marketing person showing a Android tab and showing an iPad makes a lot of difference. To, it gives a lot of impression to the uh, like customers. See again, there are two school of thoughts of everything, mm-hmm. right? suppose you meet a person who wears lot of gold everywhere in you know big moti chain you know bracelet everything right and yeah. that guy is a property dealer the first impression that might come to your mind is okay he is a rich guy you know he is i can rely upon him for my 5 6 lakhs or 10 lakh rupees he will not run away with that money but on the other side this might also come to your mind that how did he made this money he might okay. be having a big cut right from where this money is coming okay. so both depends entirely upon how much if too many show off you know, would result sometimes it, uh, in having a you know uh, impression in the mind of the customer that they are minting money they have okay. huge margins right so sometimes simplification works because when you say that becomes your usp we have no frills we don't have apple ipods and all you know no apple tabs Uh, no fancy clothes anything so because ultimately that comes from the customers money so that is why we are able to sell cheap right okay. but there are certain so depends it on what kind of segment you are targeting that is also important and accordingly investors investors don't have their own wishes right any okay. investor who have their own wishes those will be failed investors okay you get my point the okay. investors go by the wishes of or the trends of the industry right or they go by the wishes of the vcs right bigger investors they need to go by the flow 
where the water is flowing nobody should swim opposite the direction so accordingly this is a trend based industry if the trend is that we you know uh, other your competitors are having this then you should also have this mm-hmm. automatically right okay. so that is why a competitor analysis helps a lot if your competitor understand what they are doing how much market share they have first of all copy that and mm-hmm. start selling at a lower price copy everything except price right that yeah. is all what i say if you copy everything and you reduce the price then definitely you have great chances of success right because they know they have already yeah. researched that is why they are the leaders right people who say that i am better than my competitor i always back out i'll tell you why because it's very difficult to become better than the competitors who are leaders right they, yeah. if you if somebody comes up and say you know i have made a better com, uh, you know computer than hp and dell together then you need to doubt then why you are not the leading company of the world if you have made something bigger right so first of all you need to copy what people are doing because they understand they have their experience and then just keep the price low that is okay. that is what what it has to be right samsung came with a replica and copy of uh, apple right and okay. they kept the price low that is why all the features were there durability was there lot of things were similar and that that really worked well yes so uh, yeah uh, yeah my next question was actually based on that only like uh, uh, keeping a lower price than a competitor will actually justify us saying that the being a startup or we it will tell them like no it, it is a that is the concept of disruption disruption, disruption okay. means only reducing price or giving more convenience <laughs> okay i'll quote you an example there's a company yes sir uh, they have copied same exact copy design color <laughs> yesterday i bought that biscuit price is lower that's it only change is the lower price everything is same you check it in the market even the texture everything the taste everything is same right so <laughs> it's not small company so if they copy this is again uh i'm using the word copy it might not be the uh, exact meaning copying it is you know making homogeneous product like your competitors yes nobody can say it is copy right what customer likes you need to make that right it is just like started selling it before but identified what customer likes and you need to just find out what customer likes imitate that make the same product right if you try to be over smart then you will fail for sure so uh, here only uh, uh, one more thing i just want to ask last question regarding the financial projection uh, till for how many months or years we should be ideally asking for the investment like that could be a backup i can say 6 months 6 months is the ideal thing the first include, yeah. first uh, including the digital marketing hmm. the first first funding that you go for ask for 6 months okay then ask for 9 months then ask for you know 12 to 15 months and accordingly you know the bigger you become the better you become then you can okay. reduce the number of fundings okay uh, can we make a contingency something like that like uh, uh, for the first 6 months we are asking something and if uh, things are like uh, going good we really don't need funding at the, this thing and uh, it thinks or never not, ever I... never ever this is a red flag never ever okay. say you don't need funding those okay. who don't need funding are either over smart or actually fools okay okay yes. funding even mark zuckerberg needed funding you know bill gates needed funding you you name it and you'll you'll find out because of funding they became so big right everybody needs funding get my point yes see funding is capital without capital you can't become big okay right so and if you don't have a capital and if you have big business marwadi they say punji kam vyapar gana if you have less capital and you are doing big business 
you are going to be drowned you will sink okay. yes sir that's what actually making me issue like uh, like going a slow because like if i am planning to make a big thing i need a funding proper funding uh, if i am scared of that what i am scared of is like if i am going to try to be slow people might copy my the same thing like uh, what we are doing and they might jump we understand up. this the best part with startups is especially when you are small okay. nobody will copy you okay right only people copy the success nobody copies somebody who is less known okay right so and if they copy somebody who is less known they will they will you know do opposite of success actually so they need not copy and again see when you have to copy you copy the leader only because they know they have the market share right they know what to yes do. sir yeah you getting my point yes sir so that's what if you make a re- replica of say mcdonalds today mm-hmm. you name it anything and you copy their products exactly and you reduce the price when people get to know that it is exactly the same but less prices they will come to your restaurant right will that not be something like uh, it will give a neb- negative impact that it is a copy <laughs> of that no uh, china you no matter what you say but you buy chinese things right yes sir so okay sir the money is the most important commodity nowadays right <laughs> So, no matter you say i don't save money no matter you say you know i don't care about money but somewhere when people are not watching you are saving money you care for it you getting my point yes so that's important if you are getting a bisleri bottle with bisleri name for 20 rupees per liter right and if you are getting yes, if you are getting you know from the same plant unbranded same water for 10 rupees a liter you will buy the second one right yes. even 10 rupees matters everything yeah, matters I... money matters the lot and for everybody rich or poor money definitely matters okay right mm-hmm. and uh, yeah uh, regarding this uh, like uh, uh, giving a equal percentage equity for the investment uh, what are the factors we should consider i think uh, you know i should take another question and i can answer this right away but you know 2 o'clock has been done and people are waiting okay sir so okay, okay. let's take one more question from somebody else and you okay, sir, take sure, time sir. right yes sir and yes sir definitely. i'll be happy to answer other questions as well yes right? sir sure sir so just one last question we'll take sanjana and then we'll close this session okay sir uh, next we have mr shiba prasad choudhary Sir, please come forward and ask your question. Hi, Shishir. This is uh, Siva Prashad Chaudhary. I'm the co-founder and uh, the CEO of XIOT Solutions. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah. So, well, we are a like a tech company, and specifically, we are under the robotics space now. To be right now, and right now, we are developing a automatic cooking machine. Okay, we are in a prototype stage, and we are going to complete this uh, prototype. by this end of uh, this february so after that we are looking for a like investment as angel investment for our uh, like product or the final product so in this stage like how we should get an investment because we are not at a revenue stage uh, company okay. so what we need to do first of all uh, two clarification when you are mm-hmm. making a you know automatic cooking machine you need to clarify what yeah. is it cooking is it cooking rice is it cooking roti yeah. is it cooking as vegetable is it yeah, cooking pizza okay. i'll explain it better yeah please tell yeah okay i'll explain it well when i say is a cooking machine it can cook like various type of like a uh, like food like uh, from like basic home dishes okay right as like uh, i will have food so i had need to have rice dal example is indian dish and curry or in a fry or any like pampadu whatever etc so all different kinds of foods which can be made in a single machine 
that's what we meant is a cooking machine it not is just a like a rice making machine or a pizza making machine. it's not that like that it's a combination and it can make various kind of foods and it can fry it can like uh, make the even it can bake cakes in various kind of foods so this is what <coughs> so you are talking about you put all the materials into it and it will like a robot it will you know uh, exactly. bake and cook we have okay. containers where you can like uh, you can provide the chopped vegetables example you want to make a aloo fry or kobi fry mm-hmm. so what all the ingredients which is needed okay you can put it on, on in containers we have then automatically the, you can set your time and uh, what time would you need to be cooked but you need to so chop the vegetables yourself yeah initially the input is the chopped vegetables you need to put so we have uh, designed the machine in such a way like uh, example you can uh, we are going to the office for your whole morning and we'll come back the, at the evening so you need like uh, the breakfast lunch and dinner okay dinner can be done at night but in breakfast and uh, lunch you need to take it when you are okay. going to the office so assume you are like, going to office by 8 o'clock morning got it so like all the vegetables and uh, we just have like uh, you want to have uh, breakfast as a sandwich okay and uh, you want to have lunch it is on something different so we have a refrigerator inside built in the machine like a complete setup so where you can store the like all of the cut the vegetables and what are the raw materials required so when it is been required or scheduled the food item which need to be like uh, provided so that, at that time only it can be uh generated and then the machine will start cooking it for okay. you okay. now uh you know yeah. you might have to upgrade this machine after 2 3 years because the future mm-hmm. is uh, already there are you know certain machines in the west and in the east also in singapore also mm-hmm. which is printing the food okay yeah. it's a 3d printer so you yeah we are already doing it right we are so, already doing it sir Yeah. well uh, that is what that is a far better from the additional feature yeah that is a yeah. far better uh, right now you are doing things so if if you want to have mm-hmm. dosa it will print dosa right now what oh, is we are already doing it what is it? i'll tell you what they are doing right now is they have mm-hmm. connected it to a health monitoring device mm-hmm. so as per as per your body mass as per your activity of the day everything as per your nutritional requirement Food mm-hmm. options are shown in the app. Okay. As your requirement of body, mm-hmm. you cannot change it. You know, mm-hmm. you want to have uh, say uh, something uh, vada or something, or maybe a deep fried finger mm-hmm. chips or something. It will not allow you, right? It will okay. give you Definitely. only, on only limited options, which are uh, which are available as per your today's requirement, mm-hmm. and it will automatically include all the nutritional values. in mm-hmm. it and then print the food to you right yeah uh we this, can add on this feature like definitely this is, it's in the software solution this is right? going to become maybe in near future what i have heard is mandatory definitely. in singapore for every yes. household because singapore is very very concerned mm-hmm. about the health of their citizens right their lifetime mm-hmm. expectations you know people live there more there in singapore in comparison mm-hmm. to other countries and yeah. i have heard is the, that they are going to make it mandatory and this will happen okay. in lot of countries because that saves a lot of money of health expenses mm-hmm. of the government mm-hmm. if the citizens yeah. are healthy right you save a lot of money in the healthcare hmm definitely right. so such kind of laws will definitely come around food habits because men mm-hmm. is becoming lazy every day and yeah. the kind of food we are having is spoiled up and we need mm-hmm. to have machine tracking for that and yes. uh, you know so those technologies government records will be there this is what i am expecting blockchain will be built later on and okay. all you know people government will know what you have eaten oh. right definitely they can track it out government will be tracking everything in the digital yeah. world the future is like that only obviously okay. yeah uh, so yeah. that will be uh, it's a good option now coming to your yeah definitely yeah for funding, and uh, yeah as you funding, said like uh, i'll tell you hmm. only crowdfunding happens for product kickstarter hmm? Hmm. 
बट एंजल फंडिंग इज नॉट फॉर प्रोडक्ट एंजल फंडिंग इज फॉर योर कंपनी एंड द कंपनी शुड हैव एनी थिंग एनी प्रोडक्ट बट इट शुड हैव रेवेन्यूज इट शुड बी मेकिंग मनी सो इफ यू आर नॉट मेकिंग मनी इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रेज फंड गेट माई पॉइंट एक्सेप्ट इफ इट इज अ डीप टेक इन टू सॉफ्टवेयर if it is a deep tech okay. software which is uh, you know researching upon something right uh-huh. if you are say if you created an algorithm which is based on you know certain uh, pre uh, artificial intelligence on something which will cure a particular disease which is non curable right now and you say you know i have seen the indications that might be the case and if you are an you know stanford guy then you get yeah. money at that particular time for research but if mm. this combination is missing if a common person comes up and ask for something which is high tech research then also mm-hmm. this funding does not come yeah like but when we are not doing research yourself, thing we are done the prototype it's almost ready okay by february we will be ready with the uh, prototype which will be fully functional and fully working model and you need uh, to have a clear cacs to ltv model Okay. along with the revenue okay customer okay. acquisition cost is to lifetime value of the customer definitely along with the revenue revenue mm-hmm. is a must mm. then you come to us we'll definitely be help happy to help okay so initially we should have the revenue without revenue it's very difficult what about the startup line how is it possible like i told you you know we have idea stage mm-hmm. and revenue stage both idea stage winter cohort we are closing on 7th of february Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Next, when it's gonna be happening? Like that will be a summer cohort in June. Okay, June. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Only two times we come up. We take ten to fifteen companies into the cohort, mm-hmm. and uh, that and is what our, is the mar- like a uh, scale you have of the investments right now till now? Uh, we have done one hundred eleven investments till now. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. And that uh-huh. I know. Even like uh, I've, I'm the group, so I have been uh, like uh, continuously getting the information how you do and what you do. The ticket size is anywhere between fifty lakh to eighty lakh. Okay. I'm sorry. Get you. The ticket size is fifty lakh to three and a half crores. Anywhere between okay. that. Okay. Mm-hmm. In the idea stage, is it so? Idea stage generally yeah. the ticket size go up to one crore, right? Mm-hmm. But again, once. Uh, the idea is out and you build the product and the revenue starts then mm-hmm. it become normal revenue stage so up to a half a million dollar that is 3 and a half crores we can mm-hmm. go with the angel funding and then okay. we automatically take it to the vc so we have okay. done nine so, i can say is like i am in an idea stage according to the startup plan correct correct pre revenue is yeah. all idea according to us definitely yeah we can take okay i'll uh, like get back to you soon with my product yeah definitely all right yeah. so okay. that takes so us to the yeah. end of this session thank you so much everyone for joining in this is uh, shishul gupta do join in bye bye and thank see you. you again yeah thank you so much for joining in